You want to go out sometime? No. No, Todd, I don't. But I don't want you to think it's because I just broke up with someone or that I'm a lesbian or because I want to preserve our friendship. It's because I find you so creepy, I think you should have to walk around with a bell around your neck. All I heard was lesbian. He's a sexually charged jockey frat boy who's, uh, who thinks he's God's gift to women. So, how's surgery? It rocks, but my bedroom, that's where I really operate. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> when we talked to surgeons, one of the coolest things that we, that we found uniformly was that surgeons by nature are jockey frat boys. What's <laughs> that? No. And we didn't want to make our main surgeon that guy, so we said we have to have one guy that is just a uh, total id and a uh, total frat boy roaming around, and he became Todd the High Five guy. Show the Todd some love. He is High Five Todd. The person that's closest to their character is Rob. Oh, that's cool. What the hell just happened? Don't worry about it. I remember after the show premiered, I was at a restaurant and this guy, the waiter, the waiter comes up and he's like, wait, are you that, are you that guy from Scrubs? And I was like, yeah. He's like, <laughs> he high fived me. And I thought that was so funny. He just literally wanted to high five me. And over the course of the first season, it happened more and more. Like I'd be at the gym and somebody would be like, dude, dude, way to get your pump on. And he would just come over and high five me. And I realized my fan base was, in the first season anyway, it was just guys. All these jockey guys who wanted to high five me. And, uh, and I thought it was really funny. I, you know, in retrospect, or for the next show, I think I'm gonna try and play a guy, maybe like a wounded teddy bear, who, you know, who women really are attracted to.